All right, everyone. Thank you for coming to a timeless holiday party at NC State University. Um, we have a winner. Winner is going to receive um, uh, a twenty-five dollar gift card of iTunes or Google Play, depending on the phone you had, and then a timeless cup enamel pin. And then we have these little uh, gift, like goodie bags that look like gifts from Pokemon Go for first, second, and third place. <laughs> You remember that? Whenever we'd be out there doing the raids and stuff like that? And for some reason, for the last man for the sim, I lit on every time. Yeah. <laughs> if you have no idea what All, all those dragon breasts, all, all those dragon breasts, all, all those dragon breasts. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's good trainers? It's Maddie F. Baby. And today is a beautiful day to battle. And let me tell you something. I went to a Timeless Cup tournament, a holiday party at NC State University, a Christmas affair at NC State University. And the trip was sponsored by Swag. Tips and Indigo, my good friends, helps me get there. If you don't know Swag Tips and Indigo, well, let me tell you something. I went ahead and put Swag Tips and Indigo's links down in the description. You might be thinking, now, why do I want to watch this video? It's over 30 minutes of battles. Well, let me tell you something. It is a six round affair. I battle against the number 12 ranked battle in the world and other amazing battles. Let me tell you why you should watch this because I'm going to show you what not to do. I'm going to show you what to do. I'm going to show you that sometimes you get it and sometimes you get got. And if you don't prepare, well, you're going to be the one getting got. And even if you do prepare, sometimes you still don't get it. So let's go ahead and get looking at my team. All right, so I'm running Dragonair with Aquatel and Dragon Pulse, obviously with Dragon Breath. I have Melodic with Dragon Tail Surf and the Hyper Beam. We have a Return Venomoth that's gonna be rocking Confusion and Silver Wind. Our starter, Blaziken, enough said counter, Blast Burn and Blaze Kick. We have a Victory Bell coming in with only one move. You heard that correct, only the Leaf Blade. And then we have a Celio Body Slamming Bro, the champion of the WWE the Body Slam King with Powder Snow Body Slam and Aurora Beam. Now let's go get into the battles. All right, here we go. Round one. I am on stream at Ghost Stadium at Twitch.tv at Ghost Stadium. We're fighting against Kitty, Kitty, Cat, Cat, and you know, we're looking all right. She had the drape down lead. Turns out only has one charge move, so that's good. It can't get to Aqua Tails quickly, so I don't got to worry about that. With any of my fire Pokemon or anything, you know, the one I got. But anyways, we just got the crunches, and that just means we're going to be body slam spamming. I got a coffee. I got a water. You know, as Hero Vange, Battle Hero says, get some snacks, boys and girls. It's going to be a it's gonna be a fun tournament. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be like an episode of Friends, baby. All right, so we get rid of that Drapion, and then we have Celio onto this gloom. Before it goes down, we're able to get some damage with the body slam. In comes our Venomoth, and Gloom wants no part of that, and looks like we have the perfect coverage for the Cilio that she brings in. So, gonna wait a second, you know, it takes me a little while to switch. Here's a fun fact, one of my mistakes, I didn't know that the update was out on Android to where I could, I could have a better PvP system where I could do the switch after a charge move. That's gonna cost me. I could have been a lot better battler in this tournament if I had that, uh, if I had that in my arsenal. Anyways, we down the Cilio. Who's back in is Gloom. So we're gonna go ahead and Leaf Blade that. You know, you might say, I, might, I should've asked to spray that, but guess what? Only running one, one, one charge move. I shouldn't have even Silver Winded here. That was dumb, I should've just confusioned. I probably like scrub doing that, but that's okay, because we're in a, in a no-lose situation now. And yeah, uh, so we're gonna get that first win. And then we uh, catch not the lead. We do not catch the lead, we get caught. So we're gonna switch into our, our best Celio um, counter. We have a Celio, amazing counter for Celio. Not the incomes of Blaziken, great switch by Kitty Kitty Cat. Nice coverage right now. She's doing well, she's doing good. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be able to get some body slams off. We're gonna get one to go through and one shield as well. So she probably should have countered me down here, but probably didn't want another uh, body slam coming through. So um, definitely nice switch there, kitty cat. And we're able to come in and bring Venomoth in and thankfully 
we get the confusion it down before blaze kick comes at us we want no part of that blaze kick as we'll see later make a huge mistake one of my mistakes is with the blaze kick later on to a venomoth all right so we got Celio onto our Venomoth. We're just gonna sit over here in Silver Wind. You know we're going for the boost. Can we get the boost? Apparently we cannot quite yet, at least. So Body Slam comes in. I'm like, you know what? I, I might be able to confusion this down. Or actually, you know what? Let me just bring this guy in. He'll take the Body Slam. And then I'll have a bunch of energy in the back ready to go. The Body Slam's not gonna hurt too much. And we don't think our War Beam's gonna come, right? It's gonna be going for that Body Slam. In comes the Celio. And right here, we're gonna be going for a double aqua tail so yeah we overcharge hit off the aqua tail try to get to another aqua tail we're gonna get a shield you know if you ever gotten a shield before if you've got a shield from an opponent let me know in the comments down below if that's ever happened to you mm, amazing all right so we're gonna get mud bomb down but that's okay because we got a silver wind pretty much ready to roll we're gonna send that flying off and finish this matchup. You heard me? All right, and we got the boost. They give me the boost. All right, so next match. We're actually not showing the third match since that series over at 2-0. That's what I'm doing my tournaments from here on out. If someone gets 2-0, we're not gonna show the third match because these are some long tournaments. So yeah, we have Melodic in on Venomoth, able to get some damage with the Surf, and then we bring in our own Venomoth to tank that. And we, uh, this is against Country Nerd to tank that hit and also take down the rest of that Venomoth. So that's what's going on right there. Now we got a Silver Wind coming at him. They better watch out for it. People want no part of Silver Winds. I wouldn't want to be Silver Winded, would you? So Dragonair shields that. Good call there. We're trying. We're like, can we get to a return? We cannot. We almost get there, but not quite. But thankfully, I got two great counters for Dragonair. Two Pokemon that do well generally, and also counter Dragonair. That's what I love about Melodic and Cilio so much. They both do well generally, and then they counter some of the core meta as well, although they do fill the same or similar role. So you know the deal. Body slam, spam. We're body slamming away. People want no part of body slam spam. If you want a part of that, you're a wild one. I don't know how you do it. You're a mad lad. In comes the Haunter, and I should've just went for the straight Aurora Beam here. You know what I'm saying? We should've straight Aurora Beamed instead. He lets it go through, and now you know what's gonna happen here. He's not gonna let this one go through, right? This, yep, yeah, all right. So we make a mistake right there um, in, the sh in the shielding mind games. We go for the bait, it doesn't work, and then we go for the nuke. After going for the bait that didn't work, that was silly. So yeah, we're gonna lose that match. Very well played, country nerd. So now, now, we got Golduck. Speediest Chief, where are you at? This is your boy. Come get your boy Golduck. You come get him, because he wants no part of what's about to happen, let me tell you. All right, so yeah, we got a hyper beam. He hit me with a bubble beam, I got a hyper beam. Let's see how it goes. He's gonna shield this. Nobody knows, oh, it goes through. And then a dragon tail says, get out of here, Golduck. So able to win right there with the beam. Thankful that he let that go through. Maybe hoping for a double surf or something. Then Haunter comes in and guess what? melodic has got another surf ready for that. And Haunter wants no part of basically any charge. Maybe you gotta like put a shield on Haunter like almost no matter what. So then we switch. We're like, you know what? He's probably gonna send us with the little shadow punch. And uh, oh, it was a sludge bomb. It's not even a shadow ball. So we luck out. We were just trying to down with confusions. So yeah, we're able to bring in the Venomoth and get a lot of damage on the Haunter, but not all the way down, I, I don't think. I kind of missed it when I was looking um, looking around. <laughs> so yeah, in comes Cilio. We're just gonna let all this energy go and let him take us out. We got our Cilio in the back, and now we got tons of shields, Jack. We got so many shields of Cilio. It's like, I don't even know what to do with all these things. I'm just gonna body slam. That's my, that's my word. That's what I'm all about is body slamming bros. So in a good position here, you wanna try to take the Cilio down have a shield or two probably just have one shield and some energy so that's the goal right here is to yeah just take this cilio down and hopefully have some energy and a shield left over we don't want to let all of our uh, health go to these body slams even though there's only little pot shots because that shadow claw that thing hurts it's right here boom we perfectly time a sack switch and he would have basically had to have like down me with a, a charge move because the we're gonna resist that powder snow heavily so in comes the haunter we got the shield left still, and now we're gonna go hit a body slam, and it's okay, because Haunter's so flimsy, and he's so low on health, 
That's gonna finish them off, right? Yeah, heck yeah, and then we got, boom, we got another body slam ready for Celio. Thankfully, the Celio didn't have any energy ready for me, and I'm able to get this W right here. Great game again to Country Nerd. Now we have a good matchup right here. We know Sludge Bomb's gonna hurt, but not KO. We know Shadow Punch is gonna just tickle us, and yeah, so we're like, let's not use any shields. We know we're gonna get a shield from Haunter. Haunter wants no part of this surf. Not, not one little drip, drop, drippy, splish, splash, drip, drip, drip. It wants nothing to do with that surf. So after that, we're trying to confuse him down. We, I think we got two confusions off, maybe just one. In comes Charizard, and this is what I like about my return. Um, Venomoth. I don't have a Poison Fang Venomoth. I ain't in that club. If anybody in Orlando has one and wants to hook a boy up, I'm trying to go down to Orlando. So yeah, next month. So if you're going... Save one for me if you got it. So anyways, we uh, yeah do a lot of work to that Charizard, and that's what's great about this uh, return matchup onto the Charizard, you know what I'm saying? So we elect to actually uh, shield here, and we're trying to drag it him down and have some energy into the next Pokemon. So we just instantly fire off Surf, because we just don't want to get uh, wait and see what it is. You know, we want to make sure we don't lose this energy. I make mistakes later where I, yeah, I should just fire off Surf. I'm, I play 2-3 two, two, head later. 2-2 two, two head, not 5 head. I need to make 5 head, big brain plays. But anyways, yeah, so uh, we bring in our Cilio onto this Dragonair. I'm like, Aquatel? Return? What is it going to be? Oh, it's an Aquatel. He gets me. He gets the bait off on me. That feels, that feels bad, man. But thankfully, can't get to a, a return, so he just double Aquatels me. But he gets my shield. But now, I have the Aurora Beam. He's got energy, he's sending it off, he's trying to push the button, and we're both just like CMP time right there, so very GG. And now I'm playing against the Asian Milkman. All right, round three against an amazing battler, the Asian Milkman. We lose that lead, Victory Bell, onto Muck. I was worried about the Muck, and so I brought the Venom off, but yeah, I wanted to lead it, but I just did not want to lose the strat at the gate, so I really wanted to lead it there, and I wish I would have. But anyways, get a Silverwind off on this Kingdra. Our Venomoth's doing work. We're gonna shield this up, I'm pretty sure. No, yeah, we did show. I was like, I'm pretty sure I showed this up because I got tons of energy and I'm trying to do a one more confusion and then fire off some energy at this next Pokemon. We're knowing it's not Muck coming back in, right? Because Muck's going to take a little bit to down us with the fastness. So, boom, Lapras coming in. I should have just Silverwinded here. I returned and I should have just Silverwinded, but it doesn't matter anyways. We're not going to get to another. Uh, that's probably what I did. I probably was like, let me try to get to another. Um, another return because that's less energy if I return first and maybe I'll get to another return so that's probably what I was doing there. Uh, we take the Dragon Pulse with the Victory Bell and then we switch out into the Cilio. It's a nice switch and I think that's a pretty decent tank right there. I to tank that but then Thunder Punch comes in and I know it's gonna hurt but I wasn't sure how much I gotta like I'm just worried about my shield situation right now because he's got the Lapras in the back and uh, it's got a little energy and he's also got a shield so I'm like kind of bugging out about that right now I'm trying to like Get the Lapras low health and also maybe try to save a shield for when his uh for when my victory bill comes back in and maybe I can just uh yeah shield a uh, surf that would down me and then raise leave him to the itsy bitsy greasy pieces. So yeah, we ended up using the shield here onto the Lapras, it's a skull bash not a surf, and he's gonna not shield here. And he says like, you know, it's like he went to push it or wanted to push it and just, I don't know, it was like, I asked if he wanted to replay it and he just didn't use his shield there, very costly. Maybe I should have, like, I definitely asked him like multiple times, like, do you want to replay this? Are you sure do you want to replay this? And yeah, it's just a weird situation. But anyways, we're going to game two, so I get a, a, a bad win there, like one that I'm not proud of in the least bit. I'm not proud of that win at all. And yeah, definitely, you can ask Asian Milkman, I was like, man, are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to just replay this one? Like. Anyways, um, Cilio, Kingdra, or go get the tournament officials and ask them what the deal is. So, you know, I saw that stuff. You want to like get them to like get the tournament officials over here. You want to replay it. La di da. Anyways, let's get to the second match. Um, so yeah, Muck. You know, we don't want this Thunder Punch, but yeah, we're like not also wanting to lose our shield. So we just tank the Thunder Punch and then we're gonna bring in our Venomoth. And I'm gonna make some mistakes with Venomoths in this tournament to where things that it's super effective against. Like Blazikins, like other confusion users, like Razor Leafers, and in particular the three mucks I fought in this six round tournament. That's kind of wild. That's like more than I fought the whole uh, training session. So, anyways, yeah, I think I make mistakes with my Venomoths where I'm like, sometimes I'm not using my energy and just trying to down them on charge fast moves, and maybe sometimes I should use my energy, and you'll see that later. Um, but, anyways, we get to do some good damage with Venomoth, and uh, right here I'm, I switch because I'm like, man. 
I still have a shield. He's going to have tons of energy if I keep letting him for him. And so right here, great switch by him. He like times it out to where the blaze kick's coming. And yeah, so I switched because I was like, I don't want to let him farm too much energy. I want to start countering him down. And we almost get the counter down, but he gets to the surf. So I'm going to go ahead and drop an L right here. And yeah, next we got Cilio versus Muck on the lead. So you know, we want no part of this, Thunder Punch. You know, we wish no, again, wish no, we let the Venom off. We just don't want to like lose him like going for that muck lead. So yeah, should have went with the Venom off lead, but hey, every dog has its day. We're going to get some uh, damage onto him and then uh, end up using a shield on the Thunder Punch and timing it out well to where we can uh, take this next hit with Venom off and try to confuse him down. So he does an amazing quick switch. And this is what I'm saying. Like I wish I, the Asian Bookman is the one that told me about the Android update being out to where I can do the fire charge move and switch, which I haven't been able to do for a while, obviously. But yeah, I, I gotta get that update. So yeah, I, I, should, I wish I had that for this tournament, but he uses the great switch, and yeah, good job right there. So next I bring in my victory bell. Um, yeah, that, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Victory bell, rage of the leaf. Y'all know the deal already. He just gets to a surf, not a skull badge. So that's excellent for me. We're gonna basically get to a leaf blade, you heard. Have that ready for the muck when it comes back in. It's gonna be resisted, but you know, you gotta use a shield because you're so low health right here and he wants to like save the energy that he's got in that muck. So then comes my body slam bro. You already know that we have to uh that we have to take we have to shield this. So in comes uh who's coming back out? It was uh it was, uh, yeah oh yeah it's out for the first time it's Kingdra and yeah right here um maybe he shouldn't have switched I think we were talking about this, I can't remember exactly what he said, but him switching right there allowed me um, to get to like, because I was like timing, or I was like trying to send a body slam off because I was worried he was going to get to another thunder punch. So um, if he wouldn't have switched, I probably would have body slammed the muck because I was worried about another thunder punch coming. So that allowed me to, uh, that allowed me to, whatchamacallit, to have like three body slams in the time that Kingdra would have got to Outrage when usually it would only be two. So very GG Asian Milkman. That's a round I'm not proud of at all. I don't really think I deserve that win. Anyways, going up against Labrys Logan. Um, yeah, we're gonna just go Dragon over Cilia right here. You saw the saw the lead. I kind of missed it trying to, trying to trying to wrap that last round up. But Labrys Logan, um, yeah, we're gonna just body slam spam. You already know the deal. We let um, the the charge moves come through, so we're not worried about a dragon pulse at that level. You know, it's return or it's a purified, so most of the times they return, not all the time. So yeah, we're just letting all the stuff that he was sending go through. We're able to get a lot of energy, and I think we fire off one more body slam before Celia goes down. Yeah, we do. In comes Sunny Cast Firm for everybody's favorite Beamer, and yeah. All right, so we bring in our Blaziken. Blaziken can tank anything that Cast Form has a throw at it. We're flimsier than Cast Form, but our counters do more damage, obviously, than his resisted fire fast moves do to us. In comes the Whiskash, and now we're at a great spot. Um, Victory Bell is just gonna come in, do work. I shield here just to be super careful because you don't wanna lose a game with two shields all the time. I've done it so much in this cup with a shield or two. Yeah, so I like to, uh, just use one shield on Victory Bell. And then we bring in Blaze Kim, bring Blaze Kim back in. It's time for counter Blaze Kick action. Counter Blaze Kick. Sorry, we take game one. Game two, we have Dragonair versus Melodic lead. This is a solid lead for us. It's not like an overwhelming Melodic victory, but our fast move damage does good to him. His fast move damage does well to us. So we uh, get a switch in here on him again. And I make a huge mistake right here. And I'm trying to bluff a hyper beam. And if I had the switch mechanic, I would instantly switch and save the other surf for later. But I'm worried about going down before I switch. So that's why I double surf here. I'm worried about going down before I switch because of the clunky switch mechanic that I'm still playing on. So to the Twitch chat, that's the reason why. To the to everyone that was watching, that's why um, I even saw a poll to say, you know, a, a slow switch is a safe switch. Because some, someone was calling my switch slow um, in this, uh, at, at one point in the stream, and that's totally fine. It doesn't bother me, but. It, Holden said, you know, a, sa a slow switch is a safe switch. And uh, yeah, that's why, I was, uh, <laughs> that's why I did that. So anyways, he gets a show with us on that Frenzy Plant. And yeah, we thought it might be an earthquake, so that kind of stunk. But then we knew it was just going to be another Frenzy Plant when he came back in. After that, we're going to switch and just try to chip as much of this Wish Cash before we go down and save um, what's left of our Blaziken. Um, yeah, so we uh, got a shield here. Worried that it might be a return. 
just because we're so low on health and if we don't show up there on an injury turn, it's like a done deal. And in comes the whisk cash, obviously you're not going to be able to uh, take this, so you got to show up there, but he's got tons of energy. He's got energy and he's going to be able to instantly down us. Blaze is going to come back in. We're going to try to counter and get to that blaze kick and we're one blaze kick away. Oh man, GG's, Labyrinth slogan. Nicely played. And like I said in the last round or before the video, sometimes you get it, sometimes you get got. In the last round, I didn't play well and I got it. So I lucked out in this round, I didn't play well and I get got. And it's my fault for not playing well. So we, we don't bring a, a great Meganium counter here, you know, and which is fine because I have a Pokemon right here that can go do pretty well against Meganium, and we're going to store um, energy here, and then we switch into Victory Bow, and we time it to where we'll, you know, I'm counting, I'm counting right there. That's his 12th Vine Whip, and we, we're just trying to um, steal some energy right there, and we know that our Razor Leaf is going to hurt him because he's not part Poison type, so we got a little more shift damage on Meganium as well. Make a mistake, so I forget how much energy and health I have in my Cilio. I think I have less energy and health. Right here in my head, I think I have less energy and health on my Cilio than I do. So that's my thought process here. And we down the Dragonair. Um, and then McGain is going to come back in. We're just going to fire some surf, uh, surf off at it because we don't want Frenzy Plant coming our way. Right? So we don't go for the Dragon Tail damage. We're like, we'll either get the, we either get the Meganium or we'll get the, uh, or we'll get the Shield. So that's why I just fired the Surf straight off. And I elect to shield my guy. And I make the mistake, I'm in a great position here, he's got one shield, I should just fire Surf off right now. And I have like, you know, four seconds and I just, um, the dragon tail that gets me to Hyper Beam is there, and I was being dumb, I thought my win condition was for him to think it's just a Surf for me to Hyper Beam him. I forget how much energy and health I have him in this Celio, and I should've just Surfed, and I'd be fine, but that's okay, like I say, sometimes you get it, sometimes you get got, it was the pressure of the stage being on stream, I just faced a hard match against Asian Milkman and Country Nerd, um, that I barely, you know, squawked by with, and just, yeah, just the pressure of the situation got to me, and I wasn't thinking clearly in that moment, I should've just surfed, and yeah, that's, you know, like I said, that sometimes you get it, sometimes you get got, everyone makes mistakes, and I make a huge mistake there, so, no one to blame but myself, and yeah, GG, Salapras Logan, very well played, bro. All right. Oh yeah, and I forgot I also lost because I didn't bring my plushie. I need to start bringing this. Thank you, Shagnus, for this. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna bring this, and next time I'll get the I'll get the dubs. All right. So now we're playing against like Ram Ramp Ramper Go. I forgot it's something something like that. You know who you are. All right. So we got Venomoth going against Blaziken. Here's where I make a huge mistake. I think that I can barely survive that Blaziken right there. I think I'm thinking of the Victory Bell Survival Blaze Kick. I think that's what I'm thinking of. I barely survive. I think I can barely survive that, that Blaze Kick. So that's why I said earlier that I get too stingy with my energy on Venomoth. So that's the first mistake in this match. Huge one where I make like a boneheaded mistake and then the next one is not really boneheaded. This one, I know I can survive one Mud Bomb, but who has Water Pulse? Who? Whose mans has Water Pulse on the Whisk Catch? All right. <laughs> So there we go. Yeah, I just completely give away two of my Pokemon in this matchup, and yeah, we're gonna get wrecked. So yeah, sometimes you get it, sometimes you get caught. Everyone makes boneheaded decisions. I make very horrible boneheaded decisions if no one else complaining but myself. As I say in a lot of my tournament recaps that, I feel like I'm one of the luckiest battlers there is. I think I play very well um, to an extent, but then sometimes um, I get, win by hairs, you know. But then sometimes I lose by a hair. So it's, like I say, that's just the way the game goes. Country Nerd um, said, may the best man win. When we started round two, I said, may luck ever be in your favor, because it's not always about the best man, and he agrees. You know, it's sometimes it's about luck, CMP tie, all sorts of stuff. So here we go. You remember my huge mistake in just giving away Pokemon? Guys, who else is gonna give away a Pokemon? He doesn't think I can. He doesn't think I have force uh, confusions. There is what he said. You know, so he's thinking it's a poison thing. And yeah, so he, I gave away two Pokemon game one. He gives away a Pokemon right there. So I guess returning the favor. And yeah, very lucky right there that that happened. Because he's gonna resist our confusions heavily, but he can't really put shield pressure on me with uh, the shift tree. So either way, he's in a bad spot right there, straight up. Because I'm gonna get some silver winds, and he, the stuff he's gonna throw at me. It's not gonna pressure me. So, anyways, now we have Celio v Dragon Air. What you think about that, Pika? Pika, Pika, you gonna say something? No, no. Okay, he's gonna be quiet. He's shy right now. He might say something later. Anyways, yeah, we down Dragon Air. Gonna body slam the dude, Blaziken. And yeah, Blaziken can take 
one of those, but the second one is always going to kill him. So that's what you should keep in mind with Blaziken. He could take one body slam. He can't take any of the water pulses or whatever that a Whiskash has. Let me tell you that. See, Blaziken says, get us down with our Blaziken to finish him off. So here we go. We're in a good spot. We like this matchup because Thunder Punch is going to do nothing to us with this muck. And yeah, our, our Fax is going to do a lot of damage. Our Charge Move is going to do a decent bit. So in a good spot here. Pika! Oh, thank you, Pika, for, for speaking up finally. So yeah, I overcharge here going for that Dragon Pulse bait. You know what I'm saying? We're almost, we're low on health. So now it's time to try to double Aqua Tail down. Boom. Grab the shield. Boom. About to grab the muck. Boom. Boom. All right. So off to a good start right here. And yeah, simultaneous KO. I guess we don't grab the muck. I forgot. And he's going to put his Pokemon in before mine. So I always like to wait till almost the last minute here. And yeah, so it worked out for me there. I waited till almost the last second. And yeah, I was ready for him to switch. So I had the switch menu open. See that he's not switching. So I'm like, all right, let's apply some, apply some shield pressure. So I put some shield pressure on there right here. I'm like, you know, he's purified. Probably not Dragon Pulse, probably solid. So yeah, we like to hold a shield right there. Got body slams ready to go for that Dragonair, which at this point, yeah, it's gonna down him. He's still got a shield though. Blazing comes in and we're in a good spot here with two shields against his one. I don't think we're gonna use our charge moves. We're just gonna go straight, kind of fusioning down. And that's what you should do when you can fast move someone down and they have shields left. So anyways, round six against um, Hobbit Samwise. So another muck. I'm facing all the mucks, and I wanted to leave Venomoth so much, but just so worried. I'd rather just get a little bit of chip damage and let him switch out than lose my Venomoth straight out the gate, which maybe wasn't a smart decision. Maybe retrospectively, I should have lived with Venomoth more against these muck teams. He seems like a really strong candidate for these leads. All right, so we take one mud bomb, right? He didn't want to take our charge move. That's great for us. And now we're like, man, we don't want to get rid of all this energy or lose all this energy like I've done so much in this tournament. Let's go ahead and lose our shield advantage and go for this KO onto the Whiskash. But he says, no, 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 you cannot have my Whiskash. That Whiskash, that is mine. That is my Whiskash. Glup, glup, glup. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna let our Venomoth go down. We're gonna keep that shield advantage. Go ahead, we don't wanna take a mud bomb here. So we're like, yeah, let's just instantly body slam. And we have to do a Powder Snow to finish him off. So right there, oh no, look whose man it is. It's Muck. Oh my gosh. So yeah, Muck comes in. And yeah, we want no part of that Thunder Punch. So we're going to switch out to someone who does want a part of it. And right here, we're like, he has no shields. He's only body slamming us. We got this. We got the Dragon Pulse, baby. And that's what I like about this Dragon Pulse, Dragon Air. It can be a game closer with the Dragon Pulse with Return. And Aqua Tell just does not have that huge threat, you know? So yeah. We almost down him, right? We don't all the way down him, but that's a way different matchup than if you got Aqua Tower turn. So, boom, now we can bring in Arcelia, and we're in a good spot right now. We want to make sure we have enough energy to uh, instantly charge move him with the Roar Beam, even though a Body Slam probably does it at this rate, at the health that he's at, or maybe does it, but we just want to have an Aurora Beam ready, so we just elect to farm him all the way down. I don't think a Body Slam would have down him right there. So here we go. We got a good lead right here, Dragonair again onto that, th under the, trying to take that Thunder Punch. Oh, but we don't have a great Cilio counter, so you've seen this story before. Cilio v Cilio, I'm using Cilio to counter Cilio, but my Cilio, in my opinion, has a little advantage because, you know, the Dragon Breath, that does a lot of damage. He's got a little energy advantage, but I got the HP advantage, baby. And so, yeah, we like to, what I like to do is to farm up to two Body Slams and then, like, send two off. And or like send one off and then almost get to a third one and then like fire back to back off. I just like to do crazy stuff where I, I probably farm too much with the uh, powder snow and try to do like back to back body slams and, and like just different timing rhythms and throw people off on when to expect it is basically what I'm trying to say is because if you like there's like all these little little math you can do where if you do like if you charge up the two like the first two or five body or five fast moves and then like the next two are like four and then if you do like yeah, it's all this weird stuff. I was reading up about it, but I, I can't explain it off the top of my head right here. Anyways, we're in a good spot. Venomoth versus this muck. We're just going to try and fasten him down. The confusion does the job. Boom, in comes Sunny Cast Form. I go for the return. I was thinking about going for the boost, but we're going to go for that neutral damage, and boom. Does some hot damage to it, right? It's decent. It's not horrible. Confusion's doing work, too. And yeah, we haven't had to take a... a a fire body slam yet. Here comes the fire body slam. The weather ball. 
All right, so now we got a Dragonair who can take all that cast form has to offer it right here. We do not want to be caught with an Aurora Beam, so we're just like, we don't remember exactly how much energy that Stelio still had. So yeah, so we like to use our shield. Then we drag and pulse, and that was done. Another mistake, trying to use the big nuke play. We still have a shield left. I thought maybe he would think it was an Aqua Toe. I want to let it through and hold the shield for later. But yeah, now in comes the Aurora Beam. So I should have dug a double Aqua Toe there. All right, so the final match or the final round. If we win this, we go five and one. We have a Venomoth into the Celio. And I believe he's actually going to switch first here. Um, my computer is lagging real bad. It's, it won't stop lagging. I'm trying to replace this like six times. So he switched to the cast form, I believe. I switched into Dragonair. He's going to be sending off a Weather Ball. I don't care. I, I don't care about no Weather Balls, right? I'm going to tank that or a Solar Beam all day. I'm a Dragonair. I'll resist that kind of stuff. I'm just going to try to down him with our Dragon Breast here. And yeah, we almost go down. We got a ton of energy. So we would like to go for the double Aqua Till, you know, and just chip away if he decides to let it go through or steal the shield. So we are um, gonna die with some energy here. I don't wanna use my shield on his power snow register before I can send off my charge moves. So that's why I like go that energy there. I have the shield advantage. And yeah, I'm gonna maintain switch advantage now. So had some trouble switching there, um, but we're gonna switch into our Venomoth. We're going to uh, shield that of course. And then we're gonna just return. Send that return over Adam. And that's what I like about return. If you don't have Poison Fang, Psychic takes a little bit too long to get to, but does a massive amount of damage to most things in this cup. So I like return as a safer option to do good neutral damage that uh, I don't have to worry about wasting energy, as much energy if it gets shielded, you heard. Potty Slam comes in and we like to let our guy go down. We got a good amount of energy on our Melodic. And yeah, I think he's out of shields at this point. No, he still has one shield. So I'm gonna try to get that with a Surf. I'm almost ready for another Hyper Beam. We got the Surf ready to go. Boom, we grab the shield. And he's gonna come in with a Body Slam. And right here, you saw two Pokemon, or one Pokemon, it's just the one, right? So yeah, we're gonna go for the Hyper Beam to finish the tournament. Thank you everybody that I played today. Everybody, y'all were all amazing. I got very lucky, like I said, um, at the beginning of the video, everybody. Um, sometimes you get it, sometimes you get got. I, I always say I'm a very lucky battler. I'm now the number 69th ranked battler in the country. Me? Matty F, baby. And I'm also ranked like 417 in the world right now. Like, it feels good. And uh, yeah, definitely a lot of things I could have done better, as you saw. Um, some really dumb plays, some nice plays as well. Um, some nice hyper beams. There's another hyper beam, game three of round one, that I didn't include because that series was over and this is going to be a long video. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. If you're still here, please subscribe. Why have you not subscribed yet? Because you're still here. This is a long video. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your snacks. I got my coffee. I got my water. And yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna let this one in. So thank you again, everybody at the tournament. Everybody for watching. It's Maddie F, baby. Peace out, Bell Sprouts. Goodbye. And don't forget, this video was sponsored by Swag. And Indigo. Thank you, fellas. Love you. Alright, everyone. Thank you for coming to a timeless holiday party at NC State University. Um, we have a winner. The first Logan, zero, who went 6-0. Congratulations. Very uh, well played.